All right, well, thank you so much for joining me today, Juan. I'm super excited to feature you guys, um, Garden Pathways, all the work that you're doing with laser tattoo removal uh, and the partnership that we have uh, with Garden Pathways and Estanza. Um, so to get started, why don't you just tell me a little bit more about Garden Pathways, who you guys are, what your history is, and also who you are, what your role is at, at Garden Pathways. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, so Garden Pathways is a community-based nonprofit organization uh, that was founded in 1997 um, here in Bakersfield, California. So we're just north of Los Angeles, just south of Fresno, San Francisco, for those that don't know. Um, some people call us the armpit of California, but we tend to call ourselves the bicep. Uh, <laughs> We do feel the feel the world. We feed the world, and you know we we deliver and transport uh, goods to the world as well. Mm -hmm. But um, Garden Pathways uh, it started off as a youth mentoring organization with a preschool where mentoring practices were implemented into the service delivery of the preschool and daycare center, and then an after school program as well. From that, it evolved to also doing mentoring for adults to adults and those that are facing a lot of challenges in their lives. We look at, um, we work with adults that have experienced a lot of trauma, um, a lot of adverse childhood experiences. And the research consistently shows that the best way to mitigate the effects of trauma later on in life is to connect an individual with a positive adult role model. Mm -hmm. And to us, that is mentoring. Our mission is to transform lives from the inside out through loving mentoring relationships. So we strongly believe in the transformational power of those genuine connections, heart to heart, human to human connections. Um, the target population that we have is the, um, those that are currently and formerly incarcerated, those that are struggling with uh, community violence, gang impacted individuals, uh, gang affiliated individuals, home, um, those in, individuals that are struggling with homelessness, uh, addiction, uh, foster youth, and even youth that are part of the juvenile justice system. Mm -hmm. And we, the core of the services is that one on one mentoring with case management. We do offer some cognitive behavioral therapy groups, job readiness groups. Um, through some partners, we offer some vocational training on, on site. We do referrals to partner agencies for services that we can't provide in-house. So it's a collective and it's a well-coordinated strategy. That's great. But we did see that there was a gap, right? Our mission is to transform lives from the inside out. And many of the individuals that we serve have visible tattoos, whether it's on their faces or their hands, that becomes a hindrance. They've been transformed from the inside. They've changed their life perspective. They become the husbands and wives and the dads and the moms right. but when they're out looking for jobs when they're looking to integrate back into society they have these symbols mm -hmm. that represent their past and so through a generous grant from uh, bolt of hope or the bolt house properties here locally they were able to fund us uh, and, and and provide us with the funding to purchase the laser uh, to purchase the equipment and all of the supplies that were needed to be able to have a tattoo removal clinic on site and deliver these services for free so that the transformation that happened from the inside can now be reflected on the outside. I love that. I love that story. Yeah, we, we've seen with many nonprofit organizations, just like Garden Pathways, you know, they're, they're serving that population and a lot of people have done that transformation, but the only thing that's kind of holding them back, unfortunately, um, are the past visible markings on their skin. So we love that you're offering tattoo removal and making a difference in people's lives. That's what Asans is all about too. Yes, we sell lasers, but we love the transformative stories that come out of the procedures that are performed with our lasers. So it's really exciting to hear the work that you guys are doing. I did wanna learn more about um, so we know why you decided to offer it, um, but how are you offering the, the volunteer services? Are you partnering with anybody in your community? I did see an article on Bakersfield, uh, the local newspaper in your area that you've worked with Adventist Health to get volunteers. How has that process been going? Yes, and so we're in, we're in the state of California. Uh, so there's a lot of regulations as to who can fire the laser, who can right. operate the laser. Uh, so, one, we have to have you know a doctor that provides some oversight to make sure that everything's sterile, that you know we have the proper procedures, and then registered nurses or nurse practitioners are able to operate the equipment. 
So when we got the grant, that was going to be a big hurdle. But Adventist Health, being two blocks away from our office, mm -hmm. said, well, what if we partner with you guys? We believe in your mission. Uh, we, this is a way that we can also contribute to our community by, by sending volunteers. And so we have, uh, we have volunteers from Adventist Health that come into the office to provide the service for free. That's great. Yeah, I love that you created a partnership and, and you're in backyard too, which is even more convenient for you guys. All right, just a few more questions. So how did you find Estanza and how has that partnership been going? How has the laser worked for you? You know, we wanted to start the, the, the tattoo removal program following the same model as our partner in Los Angeles, Homeboy Industries. We didn't know that they had the Estanza laser. But one morning I was watching the Today Show and I saw Dr. Oz or, or, or one of those doctors that comes out on, the, on, on TV, good looking guy. And uh, the topic was tattoo removal. And what does it look like? Does it hurt? And so he's talking about tattoo removal and he's gonna demonstrate it on this individual that had this huge tattoo on the back. And uh, the laser that he was utilizing was an Estanza laser. So I figured if this guy's willing to use the, this, this laser in front of everybody on public television, then it must be safe. Um, and so we started looking at Estanza. We looked at other competitors as well and other products and other vendors and um, you know, their equipment was good as well, you know, uh, very, very competitive. But what impressed us about Estanza is their understanding of the nonprofit sector and how a lot of the values, um, a lot of the approach and, and that level of understanding and, and being able to support nonprofit missions, um, that's what stood out for us with Estanza and, and compelled us to want to work with, with, with Estanza as opposed to any, any other vendor. I love that. Thank you. Yeah, I think working with Homeboy Industries also gave us that partnership to be able to work with so many other organizations, and it's been great ever since. And my apologies, my dog working from home. We yeah, I, th I think you said Homeway so. Industries, and they and 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 he agrees. Yeah, he <laughs> or does she agree. agrees. Yeah. <laughs> All right. The last question that I have for you, um, and I'm sure you've had so many moments, but is there a changing lives moment that you've encountered after? adding laser tattoo removal? I know there's too many to count, but is there one in particular that stands out to you? Um, yes, so we have an individual that spent uh, over 10 years in prison and he has tattoos all over his face. And, and uh, what recently released, I wanna say maybe released about a year ago. And finally is able to get tattoo removal because of the services that we're providing. But he was sharing to me that he has a granddaughter. And the reason why he decided to do tattoo removal is because he hasn't had the opportunity to really embrace her because every time she looks at him, she gets scared and doesn't want to be anywhere around him. And so he's like, man, he goes, I can't wait to get this all off where my granddaughter is not afraid of her granddad. And he goes, he goes, I shouldn't, that type of relationship shouldn't be that way. So to be able to provide that service to somebody so that they can become a, a, a an awesome grandpa, uh, really, really just touches my heart. Yeah, that is very touching and definitely different than um, other stories. That one definitely is very personalized regarding his family. Uh, so I'm just so happy that you guys are doing that kind of work. We're so, so happy to be partnered with Garden Pathways and can't wait to see everything that you guys do with this laser tattoo removal program. Um, if there's anything else that you want to share with us before we close. No, we just we just definitely appreciate the support that Estanza has provided us. It's not it hasn't been just a here's a tattoo remo removal laser. Uh, you know, here's a couple of pamphlets. Here's your initial training, uh, but just the ongoing support and 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 you can tell that they genuinely care about their product and about their customers uh, because I get uh, follow up emails on a, you know on a consistently from Estanza from the people that work with us. Uh, so really appreciate that. And I really appreciate that you actually take the nonprofit sector into consideration. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thank you. that means that we're doing our job well. <laughs> you are, you are, definitely are. All right. Well, thanks so much, Juan. Uh, thank you for joining us today. We will talk to you later. That's good. Thank you, Amy. Have a great day. Bye.